Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22. Zero Oito has done it again with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on Evergreen Valley. Zero Oito has done it again. This is packed with stuff. 733.56 megabytes download with seven required mods, which pushes that up a little bit higher. Uh, we don't have any custom crops. Contracts are available. Apparently there are 16 collectibles. I haven't seen one anywhere. I'm being stared at because I'm recording. Um, I will talk about slot count now. On New Farmer it's 1,634. It's up there. But the map, like most of Zero Oito's maps, um, the immersion, the amount of detail, vehicles driving, I mean it's incredible. Uh, on Farm Manager and Start From Scratch that comes down to 1,461. The difference being, you don't start with any of the vehicles, machinery, equipment over at the main farm. You don't start with the farmhouse. But on all three game modes, what you do start with is this. We do start off with, with our wagon, with our trailer. We do start off with a wheel loader and a massive Ferguson tractor on all three game, uh, game modes. So that's what you start with, which is fantastic. Thank you. The map looks like this. There we go. So, to the north, mining to your heart's content. There's all sorts of stuff up there. We'll get to that in a little while. As we come further south and we cross the river, which then meanders and comes down the map, we've got open, fertile land. And we do have these. We have the irrigation systems. Um, which ones were these? The Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation. That's one of the downloadable mods that they do automatically download. But... Um, very reminiscent of what I did on Frontier, actually. Uh, this has got, a, this smacks a lot of Frontier. There's a lot of the different things on it. Um, that being said, there's not all the sand and dirt everywhere. Um, there's not rubbish bins to collect, and there's not, uh, not that I've found anywhere. There's not the big, sh like, lumps of metal you can go and take off and recycle. But there are facilities that produce those things. Again, you'll see as we go around. It does say there are 39 new products. Some of them are reminiscent, again, of Frontier and other maps we are gonna to have to buy everything as we go around so what i'm going to do now actually what i'll do is there is a train as you can see comes in from the top of the map swings around comes down and it goes west east and then back out of the map uh, the destination is railroad so if you get a contract that says you need to deliver to railroad that's where it's got to go to uh, but as far as field prices and stuff go on new farmer we start with field and plot one that has the sort of main farm on it and fuel prices vary, 139 for that one, 190, we got 157, then they kind of work their way up a bit, 677. Uh, not everything's available to buy, that's 89, then we get a bit further up and we've got the mines themselves. The mines of Moria, 691, what's that one there, 1 million and 51, then to buy that mine there, 2.8 million. That mine there, 1.5 million, or nearly 1.6. And that one there, 1.266 million. So, you know, the prices do vary. There are some plots you can't buy. Uh, some of them you can, they've got placeables and stuff on. But as we move down to here, you'll see, I'm clicking now, that plot you can, that plot you can, that plot you can. But some of the ones that have got sell points and stuff on, you can't purchase. So just to be aware of that. And even that one there, 39, you've still got some building stuff that can't be. So as far as placing new stuff goes, it might be tricky-ish. We start here right by the vehicle shop with our vehicle. There is a wheel loader that's already there. That belongs to the, the um, garage, the vehicle shop. That's not on your inventory. You don't have to worry about that at all uh, so what we'll do is on foot we'll whiz around very quickly the vehicle shop is also the reset point just didn't realize that music was playing the whole time i'm probably gonna get a copyright strike I mean, it's a bit muffled maybe not so we can open the gates here at the side at any time but bearing in mind it's 805 we've got that same thing we often get with um with maps and it's a curious one the gate opening times for a lot of the facilities so in here we've got our workshop and then we've got our wheel loader with long pallet forks that's here available to use whenever you want at your discretion but these gates here are locked and the timings like i've said it could be um daylight saving hours could be time difference between here and wherever you actually are but it says these open at 7 a.m and close at 8 a.m and it's already eight these will automatically open at 9 a.m We've had that before, it's just one of those things that happens. If we whiz just across here, we'll get some of it. I'm not going to do everything on foot, we're going to go and grab the lorry in a moment. 
and we come round to this place. Actually, I'm going to have to speed up time on it because we're not going to be able to get in there otherwise. Actually, while I do that, I'm going to put some money in because we're going to need it to start off, and then I have to put some more money in because a lot of things we've got to buy are going to cost a lot of money. We're going to need a fair chunk of money. Bear with me just a moment. That'll get us going for a little bit longer. So if we come into here and we come around the side, we've got two purchase points. This is for liquid fertilizer, herbicide, seed, regular fertilizer and lime, I think it is here. If we click on the map and go back up, it will show us just there. So click on that, liquid fertilizer and herbicide, and that one, seed fertilizer and lime. Yeah, so these are buy points just here. And it's all this stuff, all the vehicles, machinery and equipment that's sort of everywhere, it intimates even down to this. The sound effects, forklifts, unloads in lorries. I really do love that level of motion. Yes, it pushes the megabyte download up a bit, but at the end of the day, you know, and the amount of different sorts of vehicles as well, which is brilliant. So we cross over the road here. We do have a hotel, the Hotel Central. There's a sleep trigger here. So if you want to get yourself a hotel room at the Hotel Central, you can. They have Wi-Fi. <laughs> and then around the back, we've got the Hotel Central sell points. So you can bring stuff there to sell. We come across here. We've got this big sort of truck stop, parking lot. Fuel point is here. I love it. It, ju it just feels so kind of real, you know? Actually, what I should do, let's get the map open. There we go. That's a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, I'm just trying to think. I might be better off on foot to start off with because what I did when I did my kind of tour, I grabbed the lorry, drove down the road and thought, I'll park up and then I can go to all the very seven points. Parking was a nightmare. I'm not going to lie. So what we'll do, we'll go across the road here. We've got our bakery. Now, all of the productions I'm going to buy just to show you stuff because they're a little bit different so our bakery is just here so buy the bakery and click on that and you'll see we've got two different types of bread with two different recipes first recipe re requires gas second recipe requires electrical charge all of them i think pretty much all the productions require pallets and we'll talk about that when we get to the main farm i'll talk about build mode what's been included by the map maker as well um electric charge we can produce through the um the coal What's my words? Words, Mr. B. Coal plants. Uh, coal plants and generators. You can buy generators. Um, or you have to provide gas. Now, these will also, most of the things you produce will also produce trash. And trash you can take to the recycling centre as well. So they're all a little bit different to what you're kind of used to normally. If we go around the back, we've got a delivery point. around the back for the bakery now i'm not sure where the pallets spawn i would have thought maybe here um there's no hazard marked area um it would make sense for it to be here then behind this we've got the farmer's market so farmer's market sell point for your grain type products and then a little bit further along for your palletized products and if we was a little bit further along here Oh, which one was this? This is the restaurant, I think. So behind here, we've got sell point for the restaurant, which is just there, which is having a delivery at the moment. It just feels brilliant. Across the road, we've got the bakery. Uh, not the, well, cakery, not bakery. So different to the bakery. The bakery just does bread. But if we come across to here and we buy the building confectionery which is the cakery and we click on that we've got cake and chocolate cake again two different recipes these two requiring gas these two requiring um electricity you can run them all if you want to it's time to and also requiring pallets with trash being a byproduct so what i'll do is every time we look at these buildings now i'll look at them i'll show you what things we can produce but i won't mention the pallets i won't mention the gas and the electricity again i will talk about like i say when we get to the main farm how we go about uh, obtaining those and then round the back here so we put in and then next door to that is this is vintage visuals so this is the sell point as we should see the front of the building i'm going to go and grab the lorry in a moment as well because that would make more sense so next door to that there you go vintage visuals sell point just there i'm going to go and grab the lorry but we'll head down the road towards the main farm
Now, along with that immersion, <laughs> comes a lot of traffic, which you might find frustrating. So, you know, at some point you may decide, you know what, I'm going to turn the traffic off. Of course, that's entirely up to you. And then you've got the crossings in the town as well. Um, I'll see you down the road in just a moment. This may take a little while. So a little bit further as we're coming out of the town, over to the right fire station just there. So if you're running the fire service pack and you want to have your vehicles and stuff, you can put them there if you want to. So here we've got the dairy and behind the dairy, we've got bale and pallet storage 250. There are lots of those around the map. We buy the dairy, butter, cheese, chocolate and UHT milk can be produced here. Again, with trash being one of the byproducts, but all those things can be produced. And around the back of the building, we've got a bale and pallet storage, 250 items just there. On my notes, I was writing bale and pallet, 250. And in the end, I got to the point, because there were so many, I was just putting BNP. BNP, 250, because it would just make life a little bit easier. So, as you can see, River, it's, it's really... I, I love that juxtaposition, that... that um, the, I've said this before, there's an artist, Edward Hopper, that I love. And Edward Hopper's art is very... Um, it combines buildings, architecture, with people. And so you've got that softness and movement of people and then the harshness of the architecture and the straight lines of buildings. It's very much that. You've got your, in, your industry, your mining and all the stuff then blended gradually into the lovely fertile farmland. A bit like Frontier, just without the big wall, you know? So, I'll just pull in and stop here. Engine off. So our harvester is ready to go on the half of the field that hasn't been harvested yet, so half of our circular field. We have one irrigation pivot down there, which is extended out to the far end. If you haven't noticed, you've used those before. Grab them and have a go. They're, they're brilliant. I used them on Frontier, and I thought they were fantastic. Um, it's something a bit different, anyway. Um, bale and pallet storage, 250 just here. We've got a barn, which is at the moment empty. But we have got storage in here. And the rest of our equipment and machinery. Now, as I said, on farm management start from scratch, you don't have any of the equipment and machinery here. Um, we don't have the farmhouse. The buildings and the silo and stuff are all still here in the barn. Our farmhouse with sleep trigger is just here. Part of the required mods. If we come through the building and into this room, we've got our sleep trigger and then we get our wardrobe. Well, just in there. We've got our pickup next door, also one of the required mods, which will be... Actually, should we grab that now? No, I'll talk about the build mode and stuff. Um, but it's, again, it's a really nicely laid out it, it does really feel very similar to Frontier, but also very different. Farmer 500 Silo, um, that is not a multi-fruit. I think that was a standard, if I recall correctly. We've got John Deere tucked away in here. Fuel point. Barn with another trailer. Underneath the barn, if we come around the other side, we, should, we could have gone down the steps, but come down. We've got a jet wash just around the back here. We've got ourselves a little tractor and cultivator on the back down here in the barn. So, under build mode, we'll go back up the steps. We've got a fair bit. So, under build mode, if we go into there first, we start with sheds. So there's the required mods, but then we do have some by Evergreen. Well, there's, I think there's one by Evergreen Valley or by Zero Oito. If we go to silos, same thing. We've got bale and pallet storage and there's a whole load of storage sheds. Uh, under silo extensions, we've got Evergreen Valley milk storage tank and we've got diesel barrel for generators. That's important because you might need those. Uh, under container, we've got these. So herbicide dilution tank. So you can buy concentrated herb herbicide and concentrated liquid fertilizer. You put them into there, mix them with water and it dilutes them. It makes them go a lot further. And we've got a water tank. Uh, do we have anything under tools? I don't think so. Under farmhouses, over Green Valley, there's a whole load of different options there. Tents and buildings and stuff, including the American farmhouse, which we start with. If we go to production, the reason I'm going through all of the buildings is because most of the productions on the map are modded to include pallets, electricity, gas, that kind of stuff, and the things they produce. Uh, sell points, I don't think we had... Oh, Oh, that's a sell everything mod, that's part of the required mods. Greenhouses, we have got Evergreen Valley modded greenhouses, which will do uh, in addition to, I think we've got um, watermelon, 
carrot in these as well and was it cabbage i think it might be cabbage uh orchards i don't think we had anything under orchards uh, but under generators that's where you find your jenny there so the diesel generator requires fuel produces electricity you can set that to distributing if i buy one of those now uh let's just put it in just there it doesn't matter where that's fine we quickly kind of look at that i'll go back into build mode so you put your diesel into it and then when we manage that generator and we put electric charge to distributing so anything that requires electric charge we can set that on you can put multiple ones around the map if you want to if you run, want to run a few um, and there are lots of other mods that do produce electricity that are in the mods hub which you can set to distributing back to build mode then uh, so that was that 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 greenhouses jenny's oh yeah so we had nothing under animals under decoration fences We've got a whole load of fences under here, so have a look. There might be something you want, including those wall sections with graffiti. If we come to our landscaping, paint textures, we have got an absolute load. Brickwork ones, and I'll scroll along, look. It covers pretty much any texture that's been used on the map, which a lot of map makers don't do. There'll be textures they've used, and you come to do landscaping, you can't get one to match. There are tons on here. Um, and then we've got under trees go out that way we've got some trees added in and then under plants we've got a couple of plants on the end come out of there and we go into no nope, that menu and we scroll down and look at mods and dlc so these are a couple of ones that have been added in part of the required mods but under evergreen valley we've got the case that's been modified pallets you can buy so if you don't want to make them you can buy them and then we've got these very similar to frontier maintenance tools container drilling equipment mining equipment vehicle parts so a lot of these things are required for things we need later on it will all make more sense gas cement concentrated liquid fertilizer herbicide and bond silage silage additive uh, those are the things i was talking about the concentrate that you can buy which is cheaper and it produces a lot more once added to water so all of those are in this menu as well and that will become more relevant as we move around the map i'm going to put some more money in i'm going to grab the pickup and we're going to head around because we are really going to need that more money so let me just grab the pickup and jump in we've got a super duty i do like this uh we'll go out this way then we haven't got to open the gate There's a lot to fit in, but hopefully we can... Now I've got all the build mode stuff out. Oh, no, there's a gate here as well. Ah, this thing I noticed when I was doing my, my prep, this doesn't want to stop. It really does not like slowing down. I'm just going to put some money in, some government subsidy signs. Bear with me. That should do very nicely. Let's jump back in and let's head off. So we are heading south. It's going to be a sort of strange-ish route round, but we'll get round... Crossing over the rickety bridge. Nice Sosnovka feel to that. I do like it. And we'll come down and stop. He says, stop. <laughs> stop. Hop out. Right, so across here, this facility is the food factory. We purchased the food factory for 160 grand and click on that. Sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, soybean oil, canned corn, tomato sauce, canned olives, ketchup, soy milk, raisins, grape juice, all can be produced there. Again, with the various different things required and trash being produced. Across the way, we've got the Agro Industrial Cooperative Cell Point. Just tucked away in there. So big industrial complex cell point just there i have been looking around for i mean i don't i can't find piles of metal like, like they were on frontier and then around the corner just here we've got another bale and pallet storage 250 and then we've got the fabric factory which is just here we click on that and do that so manufacture fabric both of those one is for wool one is for cotton pallets required etc um, and fabric out and then obviously you'd need to go on if you want to do um, clothing. You'd need... Actually, I didn't come across the tailors. The swirling spindle. It doesn't give you the option. Yeah, it's um, it's just a fabric factory. So a spinnery. It's a strange route round, but it'll make sense as we go. I'll show you on the map like I normally do where we are, what we've been doing. 
Again, like I said, I haven't found a collectible. I don't know if the collectibles are like, it doesn't mention in the description. I thought it would do if it was like Frontier where you get the beeping sound and you have to dig them up. It hasn't mentioned that anywhere. It's not to say it's not, but. Uh, so from here, Fabric Factory, we've got the Grain Elevator Cell Point, which is just here. Then we come up around here back up to the main road this is the only way I could really kind of make it all work whoa that swung out a bit wide to here and we are now at the grain mill now the grain mill I'm not gonna lie this is pricey for a grain mill putting into the grain mill is done there um, you'll see what I mean we'll click on that 950 grand for the grain mill um, anyway, click on that. Wheat flour, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, corn flour, soybean flour can all be produced here. Um, which, I mean, at the end of the day, is more, it's just an extension of a... It's got some extra stuff for nearly a million. It's, it's quite pricey. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, and then we have got... On, what am I missing here? Did I miss something on my notes? So, anyway, we started off here at the main town. Went round all of this came down here to the farm, came down out of there and across the bridge which is just there. We've taken those there and we've driven up there to our grain elevator. That's all just grain meal. And then bale and pallet storage just there. If we come out of there, and then we're round the back. We come down towards the biogas plant. Biogas plant plant's a weird one. Sometimes you get them while you can buy the land, then the biogas plant. Sometimes you buy the biogas plant, you get the land with it. This one, you buy the biogas plant, you don't get the land with it, but you also can't buy the land. So it's um, you can't actually do anything else on the plot. It's fairly standard. It's a 1.5 million, which puts it at what? Is it a one, one megawatt? I can never remember. It might be a one megawatt. We're going to find out anyway. So for 1.5 million, yeah, one megawatt. Do that. So regular things in, silage, slurry, manure, sugar beet cut, with digestate coming out. If we go back to the map, you'll see we come down here. So this plot, even though I just purchased it, we don't own the land. If I click on that, we can buy that, I can buy that next to it. But I can't buy that land, and just by buying the biogas plant, we don't own it. So we can't remove anything, we can't add anything, any extra silos or anything like that. We're just not allowed. And we're moving. Rent train point, just there. We cross over the tracks and come around here. We've got a sell everything point. Now, as far as I can tell, the sell everything point, let me just stop there. The sell everything point is by road or rail. We cut through the bushes. So this is a sell everything point and it does span both. So as far as I can tell, road and rail, and you can also do wood here. So if you're not sending off by train to um, railroad, you can sell everything here. So you can bring it around the map from various different locations and bring it here if you want to. Across the way. Uh, I'm looking at my notes. Is this the marble sawmill? I think this is the marble sawmill. This is rather cool. Yeah, marble sawmill, 180 grand. Click on that, it's a bit loud. To produce sawn marble, we need marble blocks. Maintenance tools, electric charge. So those containers we had for maintenance tools, drilling tools, that kind of stuff, there'll be spare parts, repair parts. So you bring your marble down here and it'll make sawn marble. Awesome. You'll see that later on. It all interlocks, interlaces. It will make more sense, <laughs> I promise. And then we come to the first of our coal powered fire, st coal powered fire, coal fired power station. <laughs> this is the big one. Just here. It shows you how the power is created, if you're curious. Click on here, we've got the big coal plant for 725 grand. Click on that. 
to produce electrical charge we need maintenance tools and mineral coal mineral coal we can get later on that can produce elect electrical charge and then we can also set that to distributing so again for any of the facilities any of your productions that require electricity to run once you've got one of these running and there are two of these on the map you're golden off you go rocking and rolling with the coal in right did those words just come out of my mouth they did didn't they <laughs> oh dear right back over the bridge and continuing on We've got coming up the concrete factory and the metal factory for various different requirements. There's a cell point construction site that requires some of these things and some of the other things also require them. Uh, this one we've got a drop off point for the various different things that are required. Some of the more palletized goods, sand goods and then watery goods, liquids are just here. We've got a rent train point behind this building on the track and a rent train point behind that building over there. So this one here is our concrete factory, 85 grand. Click on that. So concrete blocks, concrete slabs, concrete beams can all be produced here, but they require water, cement, dirt, sand, pallet, electrical charge, and rebar. So, and like I say, all the things that can be produced, including trash coming out the other side. Um, it's, it's very cool. And again, I, I'm just, oh man. I said it the other day when the Mars map came out, I spent so long not sure what map to do i really liked frontier but obviously you know i'd done frontier and then i had problems and the game crashed and i ruined my save game that kind of stuff so then i, I plumped for you know what i'm gonna do ravenport i jumped on that did my first episode did the first episode on mars because i thought okay that's cool and then this comes out and the whole time i'm going around thinking oh, i love this map i like all the stuff and because i enjoyed frontier so much um and people seem to really enjoy the frontier let's play now I'm thinking, oh, I can't start a third one, I, you know. Anyway, this is the metal factory. Bale and pallet storage just there. And then the metal factory just here. Click on that. Manufacture of metal pipes, rebar, metal beams, metal cables, and vehicle parts can be purchased here as well. Requiring iron ore, wood beams, maintenance tools. Um, so, yeah, they all interlocks with other things we'll find later on for all these things that can, can be produced and moved around or set to distributing you don't have to move them i know a lot of people often say but when you get to this point all you're doing is moving pallets around set it to distributing once you've got it up and running you've still got to deliver things to them and some of the stuff you can purchase some of the stuff you will need to manufacture moving from here there we go it does open we go along to we've got a railroad silo just along here So it's a transfer silo, storage silo. You get them on a lot of maps. Elm Creek, you know, being the, you know, the first. No, missed my turning. Round on the grass. So this will take most regular crop types. It will take potatoes, sugar beet, wood chip, um, seed. This will also, in addition to that, this will take sand. Uh, coal, dirt, and iron ore. You can store in this. There's a rent train point here just there putting into the silo is done there taking out of the silo is done there and again you can transfer from the train into it or from the silo in onto the train and away you go because the train like i say covers quite a few more stops we've got a lot of rent train points on this map for this very thing because there are lots of materials that can be moved between is that a plane was over so it looks like it Or is it a helicopter? It's going too fast for a helicopter. Right. Continuing, we come to the Recycling Centre and Lizard Logistics. Just in here. So at the back, the Recycling Centre is a production. The Logistics, um, Lizard Logistics is a sell point. I'll show on the map again anyway. So 
so around the back here we've got our recycling center click on that for 45 grand so we can recycle trash and incinerate trash but it does require trash in the first place maintenance tools and wood chip and then you get recyclable materials out which can be sold i don't know if there's anywhere else that requires recyclable materials or that's just something you can sell and then we get electrical charge again so with electrical charge set that to distributing and yeah you can run your other facilities from that as well so that'll require one of those containers trash from all the various different products uh, productions that are running so if we come back to our map just there so from the biogas plant we came down took in all of these the rent train point the coal facility that one was our oh that was the marble sawmill then the facility's just here along to railroad silo up there we are now at this point we did all of the town already so we're going to come up from there out on the main road and then we're going to head up to the top portion of the map but we'll just go past it here lizard logistics cell point which is just here there you go and we're moving back over the river we're gonna bang a right just up to that section there that's the oil extraction facility pumping station however you want to refer to it there's a rent train point up here as well like I said most of the big facilities up on this this northern section do have a rent train point you should really look before you cross do as I say not as I do so rent train point is just over there then the facility just around here spin around sorry whoa that was impressive she winked out of existence so oil extraction 480 grand click on that so to extract petroleum it needs maintenance tools drilling equipment and electrical charge and then you'll get petroleum out petroleum then can be used for I think it's used for other things or that can just be sold and again i love when you look off to the south the skyline of the city off in the distance it, it, it really just adds to that whole feel you know and what i like as well is the busyness of the town as you drive through the town there's all the people all the vehicles all the hustle and bustle and you get out to the south and then to the north and it's very quiet and peaceful and what's interesting is you've got that like i said that weird it's very nice and lush and you've got you know your fields and stuff and then you go just past that tree line and it just becomes this <laughs> mining wastescape so Miller's Sawmill in here click on that so Miller's Sawmill buy that for a hundred thousand and this one we can produce planks wooden beams long boards and pallets so if you don't want to buy pallets you want to produce them you can do this at Miller's Sawmill there's not a separate pallet production it just requires wood coming in that's all and you get your production coming out the other side a lot of these places are quite noisy so when you're doing a video when you're recording so your ins and outs and also you again there's a rent train point and you've got your loading and unloading of lumber if you want to do it there probably should have gone the other way is that going to open so i'll do i'll be a little bit naughty here look then we come to the livestock market so animal dealer livestock market is just here if we riz around the back here riz we're not going to riz around the back we're going to whiz around the back we have got buying of animal feed so we can buy animal feed here and we can buy milk because they've got livestock here they are producing milk they are being milk so we can buy milk directly if you don't want to produce it yourself um and then we've got to buy animal feed point there if we whiz up to the side of the building we have got our buy animals so our animal dealer buy point for our livestock then we've got the animal dealer sell point which is just over here which is your bale type sell point and then through here we've got our buy point for manure and liquid 
liquid in your slurry with the lovely buzzing of flies. How delightful. Anyway, that's your animal dealer livestock market just there. From here then, we're heading up to the mining territories. There's a bit of drive in with these, so I'll do, we'll do the drive in, the drive out I'll probably skip because it is um, kind of, it winds its way in. And you'll see as we go over here, you can see on the map, blimey, never noticed that before. That's normally the warning for explosives, isn't it? I wonder if there would just be a huge detonation in a moment. Are we going the wrong... Isn't it weird? We're driving on the right-hand side of the road, but the entrance is an exit, it's the other way around. I went in the exit. How weird. I, I automatically assumed it was the other side. Didn't even look at the signs. Typical. Throw the instruction manual away. Don't need it. But it turns out you do. So... This area, with this was the one was it 2.6 million, and it's um, you can buy all the land, and this mine here has got loads and loads of stone on it. So if you buy the land, you can just come and get you know basically just quarrying. As you see to the left, the amount of stone here is unbelievable. To the left, to the right. I don't remember that going off before when I came around doing my. Um, it's really, I wonder if you can turn that off. I don't think there was anything that showed it being able to be turned off. Anyway. Wow! So right down to the bottom. I told you it's not way down. But again, you've got all the equipment and machinery here that's all adds to that immersion. Now, unfortunately, unlike Frontier, where you had the mine you could kind of go into, I saw that and thought, oh, that's awesome. But you get the little markers come up, look, just here. Oh, that would have been so cool. Anyway, not that it's not. I wonder if I buy the mine whether it will stop. Please stop. Buy the mine, 635 grand. No, it's not going to stop. So we can extract iron ore. Well, it says to extract iron ore, but here's the thing. In... Maintenance tools, mining equipment, vehicle parts, diesel, electrical charge, outgoing products, iron ore, stones, mineral coal, dirt and sand. So all those things are being produced. So the recipe there, the top line is what's required. The bottom line is all the things that come out. Iron ore is the predominant one. You're getting 2,000 iron ore and then the other things are kind of byproducts of everything else is being brought out. That's driving me insane. How did I not notice that? Maybe it only goes off at certain times of the day. Have I just caught that really badly? Anyway, so I'll show you on the map where we are. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so if we want to just pick up the stone and stuff all around it, we can buy all that for 2,835,000. If I buy that, will that do it? Nope. <laughs> Made no difference at all. Right. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you up at the top in a moment. We're going to head up to this point here in between, and we're going to head across the top of the map. So we're heading out and away from there. <laughs> it's getting a little bit quieter. Just a little bit. Up to here. More stone, if you want it. To the limestone factory, which is just here. Spin around and hop out. So, Limestone Factory is just here. Up at the door. Click on that. So, to produce lime, it requires maintenance tools, stones, and electric charge. Lime out. Um, if you don't want to bother doing that, you don't have to. Of course not. There are lots of other um, lime production facilities. Uh, ones that run quickly. You can place them down if you don't want to run that one. That's the type two, and then we come through to here. This is the marble mine. So when we had the marble cutting, uh, the marble sawmill, this is where they're. And what I love about this is the equipment and machinery that's been laid out and modded to to work in here. 
um, you've got the big marble cutters, you've got these huge saws. It's absolutely fantastic, the level of detail. Look at that. Big saws cutting through the marble blocks. You've got that big saw running up at the top there. Drilling equipment, it's just, just so it's huge blocks that get hewn out of the mountainside. And then you take one product and turn it into something else. So, in here then, you can buy the marble mine, click on that, so to extract marble block, maintenance tools, mining equipment, vehicle parts, diesel, electrical charge, the marble blocks come out, then you take the marble blocks from there down to the marble sawmill, or sell it to distributing, again, if you don't want to be delivering them. I mean, I always find on maps like this, when you're um, doing it for the first time, you do want to, you, you kind of deliver a few, and then after a while, it's like, okay, well, I've done a few, because you want to see what they look like, you want to see, you know, I mean, look at all this. I mean, I don't know how big the marble blocks are going to be. And that's why I'm already like, oh no, I can't start a third Let's Play. But this map is just, I mean, I love it. This is, like I say, everything I enjoyed about Frontier is on this. And then a lot of the things that were on Frontier that I wasn't mad keen on have really been removed. It, it's interesting. Um, yeah, it, it, this is kind of the perfect balance, I think. You don't have to do any of the mining, you can just do the farming. If you love the mining side of it, you might go more heavily onto that. This plot of land can be purchased as well. I'm assuming, I don't know what the stuff is all around it, but we can purchase this plot here, 1.5 million, 1,575,000, if you want to, which gives you, I mean, it gives you access to everything around it. I'm not sure what else you can pick up. See, this seems to be moving under the tires. I don't know if that's lime on the floor. I wouldn't have thought so because it's marble anyway heading away from here so we are heading east just up the hill we've got a water pumping station and then there we go no slow down I thought I was going to clout that give it a right old clot so just here water pumping station missed that completely looking at my notes so water pumping station click on that so extract water maintenance tools electrical charge water out and again you can come and collect the water you can set it to distributing so if it's anywhere around your map or any productions you're running that require it maybe greenhouses that kind of stuff if you're running those you can i haven't come across any greenhouses actually uh from here uh i've got to remember what was what here around the back of this building oh this was the small coal coal refinery the coal fired power station so small coal plant for 150 grand does the same thing so maintenance tools and mineral coal electrical charge out and then next to that we have got the fs depot the fs depot is a cell point and that's tucked away just in what looks like a sawmill there's a cell point just in here there you go that's the fs depot that's tucked away under there uh, we've got another rent train point just there do i go under or over i can't remember which way i think i'll go under this way just the order i did my notes in i do like the multi-level stuff it's it's really well put together oh yeah round here so we've got construction site cell point which is just around the back here so that's the construction site so there are various different things that are required again i say on every map tour if you're not sure what can be sold where if you go into your sell menu and then look across the right go down each product and it will tell you exactly where you can sell that product so from here actually we can go back up this way i think i went round over the bridge before but i don't need to do that so we come round here down to this point now this is an interesting one because this is the first part of the facility so we click on this here this is your coal mine so if we click on that to extract mineral coal and you can get it as a byproduct but this is the predominant one so the other mine was predominantly iron ore with all the other byproducts this one is the coal mine with that being the predominant product and the others being minor maintenance tools mining equipment vehicle parts electric charge and these are the things that will come out but 
you deliver all the stuff here this is where you set it all up this is where you run your production from however if we go back to our map that is the mine itself now this can all be purchased like that um it's interesting how the numbers overlap anyway that can all be purchased the outside can be purchased as well but from here when you are producing all of those things you have to collect them from the mine which means coming all the way down into here whoa did we just get a bit of we got a little bit of um were we drifting then whoa so this is it this is the coal mine now what this has got some big machinery with a little bit of an animation and it's absolutely fantastic when you buy the land here there you go look, a bit of a drift that wasn't intentional what happened there now this is the only one of these i've seen so far i'm not saying there aren't more of them around the map but this bit here if you own the land and you cut that post down it removes all of the coal piles so this just gives you a big open area so if you want to put other productions other things on you can but all of the production all the products you are producing at the coal mine this is where you collect them from so you run it from up where we just were and you collect from here but these i mean look at that <laughs> that's just fantastic actually I didn't do I wonder if when you're actually running whether anything goes no they're covered over aren't they so you can't actually see but anyway that's just awesome so let's say once you're on the land cut that post all of these coal piles will go and you are good to go I'm going to head back out from there because we've got one last place to visit and that one last place to visit is down here plot 35 if you buy that do that that and that we've got a sheep farm now as far as i can tell that's the only other plot of land that's got animals on buildings that can be purchased i did have a look here i did purchase that one nothing else popped up on that one um so as far as i'm aware that's the only one so i'm going to head out from here and i'll see you on my way down to there in just a moment i'm so desperate to see what those marble blocks look like <laughs> Whoa! So heading out past the construction site and the coal mine main building. Got a bit of forestry up here as well. If you want to do a bit of forestry. So I'm seriously considering because I like them the Mars concept I'm I think that's I'll keep saying out of this world I just think it's brilliant I'm wondering whether or not I need to knock Ravenport on the head and move here I only did one episode I'm just hmm I think I might you know so just here at the farm split level sheep a hundred just there bale and pallet storage just there there's no sleep trigger or anything like that we do have a sort of workshop building there's no workshop trigger in it and then we've got our barn just here which does have its basement nothing in this one but it is here about the small farm for sheep like i said i haven't come across a cow farm or anything like that oh the flowers I said oh was that a collectible so from here then we shall head down the hill And this could be one of those ones where I just start with the start equipment rather than messing around with anything rather than changing anything literally just what you're given go with it could do that so there's a little bridge just here and if I've done this right 
we should cross over and we come out right opposite the entrance to the farm which is just there off to the right is the town where we started and that's the map that's Evergreen Valley apologies if I've missed anything if I've missed anything obvious, like I say, there's a lot going on here, so I do apologise if I have. That's Evergreen Valley by Zero Oito. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.